Hello, this is Radu from Think It Lift. Today I'm getting a DEXA scan. The DEXA scan is that machine that scans your entire body with x-rays and tells you your uh, bone density and also your body composition, so lean mass and fat mass. I decided to get a DEXA scan for only one reason, to pair my current waist measurement with a body fat percentage. Your waist measurement compared to your height is a great way to estimate your body fat percentage. And that means, if I can estimate my body fat percentage now, then I'll know in the future what waist measurement I need to hit to have a certain body fat percentage. I won't need to take another DEXA scan for that. I'll just be able to track my waist measurement and compare it to the reference point, what the DEXA scan result will be, and I'll be able to estimate pretty accurately what my body fat percentage is. For example, my waist is now 76 centimeters, that means 29.9 inches at a height of 183 centimeters, that means 6 feet. I have been this lean before, this is not the first time, and uh, I always assumed this is 8 to 9 percent body fat, so around that figure. Why is this important? My philosophy for building a great body is to alternate your cut and lean bulk cycles in the range of 8 to 14-15% body fat. This way you look good all the time and you also allow yourself pretty substantial changes in weight during the course of a year. For example, you can gain a lot of muscle in one cycle of going from 8% to 14% body fat. That's what I've been doing for the last year. And the way I tracked when it was time to end my bulks or start my cuts or end my cuts was through my waist measurement. I knew that when my waist was around 76-77 centimeters, that is about 30 inches, I knew that was the time to end my cut because I was lean enough to start lean bulking. From my experience, each centimeter on your waist, one centimeter is uh, 0.4 inches, is equivalent to one percentage of body fat. So when I switched to a lean gaining phase, I allowed myself to gain weight until my waist reached around 81 centimeters that is 31, 32 inches, something like that. And uh, that's the point I knew that I was around 13, 14, 15% body fat. So the reason I'm taking this DEXA scan is to make sure that 8 to 9% body fat truly is 76, 70 centimeters around my waist. You see, most people seriously underestimate how much body fat they have. For example, this is how I looked 7 weeks ago. I thought I'd only have to lose 4 kilograms, that's about 9 pounds, to get to my current condition. But in reality, I had to lose almost 6 kilograms, that is 13 pounds. So I underestimated the weight I'd have to get by 4 pounds. Some people I know had the same experience. Gregor Gallagher, my friend from Kinobody.com, thought that he'd be ripped when he would get to 185. In reality, to get to 6% body fat, he had to drop down all the way to 166. Another good example is Christian Guzman. If you've been following him on his latest uh, contest prep, you know that he had to drop down to 163 pounds to get stage ready. When someone that looks like me at the start of my cut 7 weeks ago tells me that uh, they need to lose a bit of fat from their lower abs, <laughs> I always chuckle. In reality, they probably need to lose 15 pounds, like I did, and uh, that almost always is two or three times as much as they thought they need to lose. So yeah, that's the reason I'm taking this DEXA scan, and uh, I'm actually very curious about the results. Another great thing is that I'll be able to show you what a certain body fat percentage looks like on a less muscular guy, such as me, because we usually we, we all know what 6 or 7 percent body fat looks on a very muscular guy, but we almost never see what that, lo what that looks like on a regular person. Alright, so my appointment is in 3 hours and uh, I'll share my results after it. Okay, so I'm on my way to the clinic and uh, I hope the doctor will let me film the whole procedure and also the part when he explains the results because I don't think I'll be able to interpret the data. 
uh, yeah, I checked the price. It's actually a lot cheaper than in uh, Western Europe on, or in the US. The price is only 120 lei, which is about 30 euros, something like that, 35 dollars. And uh, it's worth it, I think. All right, I'll see you there. Da. Okay. So this picture was taken this morning and DEXA says my body fat percentage here is 15%. Yeah, disappointing, I know. So the machine tells me that I have 11 kilograms, that means 24 pounds of fat on my body. And considering that I weigh 76 kilograms, that means 15% of my body weight is fat. Well, there you have it, folks. Apparently, I'm much fatter than I thought. And uh, on YouTube, I'm technically obese. No, but seriously now, I think the readings might be incorrect. First of all, the doctor told me that the machines were calibrated for women. Problem is that being a bad person, the instrument is made in special for women. And most of the value doesn't have a reference to the bad person. But what is interesting is... Ok. Vezi că majoritatea se referă la că așa e făcut algoritmul pentru costul de instrument. So, it didn't have a reference data for body fat in males. That probably affected the results to some extent. Also, I did a bit of research on DEXA on Google and apparently in some cases it is known to overestimate body fat percentage. For example, in one case, a bunch of uh, Comtes Lean bodybuilders were, uh, uh, had a reading of 9% on DEXA. Actually, Larry McDonald wrote an article about DEXA very recently on his site and this is what he had to say on the matter. Or, there is the possibility that I'm just making excuses. Maybe I truly am 15% body fat, but all my experience working with clients tells me otherwise. In the end, I still think that I'm around 9% body fat, but I now no longer discard the possibility that I may underestimate my body fat by 2 or 3 percentages. So, I may be 11-12%, but 15? I don't think so. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'm really sorry that I didn't reach a definite conclusion, but I am looking forward to your feedback. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Am I really 15% body fat? Do you think I'm leaner? I'm looking forward to your opinions. Thanks again for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video.